Oh, good morning and welcome to another day of the video diary. And how are you? Action, action, action. So what have I done today? Apart from stare at this screen as it slowly counts up and up and up and then the, the screen's over and turns on. Well, what the hell? I went to my discreet maths lecture, which was mentally mentally draining not gonna lie to you it's me trying to think about my programming and then let it covered and then like that and that was that was that was some intense shit so you're right hi jess yes, good. how's it going time jump hello uh it's the morning lol that's how i roll so what the hell have i been doing today basically let's let's continue the story where i was tried to start it before before jess came and then didn't want to be in a video with me Phew. Decision Maths was the single most intensive lecture I've ever sat in and my god, I need to go over those notes and I've been saving them so I can go over them properly tomorrow at some point uh, after programming. Um, so yeah, that happened and then also I basically come back and I have been doing programming and I've been programming the mastermind and I know this is really not very interesting to talk about at all um, but I've been programming the mastermind <coughs> and I've got it so that it will randomly generate a move um, no, I've done the next perfect move, which is the starting move, which is uh, red, half red, half yellow. That's the perfect move to start with in Mastermind, apparently, uh, which I've read somewhere in a theory book. And I'm working on generating the next move. Uh, the problem is, it's, it's, it's kind of a bit arduous. The perfect algorithm that I have at the moment, currently, to do this task is to, and it is a perfect algorithm, I know it's flawless, uh, and it will generate the right answer in the correct number of moves. Um, basically what it does is it gets a code, it's recursive, so it gets one code, applies it to the actual code, uh, finds out what all of, like, how many are correct position, how many are the correct color, blah, 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 and then moves it back, okay? Now using that, only knowing what, what's correct and what isn't correct, um, only knowing, like, okay, you've got two in the correct position and one other correct colour. Uh, I have to then be able to pick another guess which will be able to get me closer and closer to the right answer. So basically what you do is generate a list of all of the possible combinations of all of the different colours, uh, which is a huge list. I shiz you not, it's a huge list. Um, it's about the same size, in fact it's exactly the same size as an Excel spreadsheet. So the exact same number of cells, cells in a spreadsheet uh, happens to be, coincidentally, the same number of things, and if you were wondering, that's 8 to the power 8. Uh, just a little bit over 16 million. So I programmed a little algorithm that will generate me that list, and I use a look of loops and stuff, and it's great. And I can generate a list out of nothing of 16 million different artifacts, and Atlas can churn that out in 11 seconds. Which is good, it's not bad. It can generate it in 11 seconds, it's just a bit of waiting. It's not perfect, having to wait that long, but it's manageable. Um, I and so incidentally, just to prove how much of a beast Atlas is, um, she was using 10% of her processing power. I imported it onto my laptop, just to see how fast it was. That used 70% of its processing power, and it took 50 seconds to generate. So I love myself, my, my Atlas there, she's incredible. Um, but otherwise, she's, um, she's been working really hard today. Due to a programming error, I very nearly filled her RAM up very quickly, all 16 gigabit, very, oh, very nearly filled it all up. That was a party, that. Quick keyboard cut, as soon as I realized it was getting a bit, getting a bit close to the edge, you know? Um, keyboard shortcut, end end all tasks. It was, it was, a, bit, it was a bit risque, so to speak. Um, but otherwise, that's that's not bad, 11 seconds. The next step is to compare the guess to each and every single one of those 16 million different combinations to find out which uh, lines... No, to find out which of the possible codes would give the same answer as the actual code. So that basically you're trying to guess... Instead of trying to match the next... Yeah, that makes sense in my head. Um, <clears throat> And it's a perfect, then you do a little algorithm to figure out which is the best of all of them, and then you're, you're laughing, right? Theoretically, after the first go, you have cancelled out the chances, I think it's between, you can cut out between 8 million and 12 million different goes. So you're cutting down that list hugely after the first round. Um, and it turns out that it takes Atlas, estimated, because I did the maths on it, uh, it does about 150 
numbers, different lists per second to calculate through, which will take 45 minutes to calculate. Just calculate the list of ones that it could be, not actually pick one to do the next guess, um, which is a horrendous amount of time. Obviously, I can't have a program that runs that long, which is a problem. But I've looked into it and I figured out as to why it takes so long. Um, if you look into the code and it is running essentially, uh, bearing in mind on 16 million different variables, it's running 2.4 billion lines of computer code, uh, which roughly translated as, I think it's still saved on my calculator. No, it's not. Randomly, just 500 is saved on my calculator. Um, it translated as something something like... two. So 2.4 billion lines of computer instructions uh, equating to roughly... What was it? It was about... 3,000... 36,000 something like calculations per line, 36,000 calculations per computer code, which obviously included like the operating system and stuff like that. So poor Atlas was just churning this out for ages and ages and ages. It took a forever blesser. Um, so yeah, turns out I couldn't get anywhere. I need to cut down. I'm in a strange position where most people have like essays to cut down, like a couple of hundred words. I've got to cut down about, about 2.2 billion lines of code. Party. So I've like enlisted, I've like contacted some people to see like how they would do it, like what their algorithms would be. I know this algorithm's good, I know it will work, I know it will generate the correct answer, guaranteed within seven moves. It could do it in five if I was to program the bit that I'm not sure how to program yet. Um, the problem is it takes too long because I'm working with vast amount of data, horrendous amounts of data and horrendous amounts of code and you need some kind of supercomputer to run through billions of lines of code. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Else, though, I cooked my din dins, which was a curry, uh, and then we basically, what did we do this evening? What did we do this evening? Can't remember. Well, we basically just like sat around in the kitchen, talking about stuff. We went to a venture down to the supermarket, um, and I just sat and talked and chatted and things, and then lovely rang, and then talked to lovely for a bit, and then that was it. Really, it's been my day. Um, I'm in the. I've literally, which is why I'm still up. Um, I just put my washing in. Yeah, rock and roll. Oh, you've got a low battery. Uh, 20 minutes past one in the morning. I just went to put my washing in because it's dead in there. Don't know why I didn't think of this before. You don't have to wait for a washer or anything. Just do it now. I'm awake now. Why Why not? The only issue is they won't probably dry very well because it's not particularly... Well, then again, it's cold and windy outside, so that'll help. Um, so we've got a cold and wind. Wind, specifically. Not really the cold, but yeah, wind. Um, to dry stuff with and that's my white wash which means I'm now going not wearing whites anymore and just going for pure colours all the time to save on washes because I'm a bit pro like that. But now tomorrow is the last day I have before Lovely comes. So tomorrow is going to be horrendously worky. I am going to be a machine tomorrow. No breaks until the evening when I know full well that I've done everything that I can possibly do. That's the plan tomorrow. And then Lovely comes the day after. And it's exciting. Also, the group programming came through. We've got a meeting. Uh, it's on Friday, so I can't go to it. But the group's going. It's a group coursework. It's what groups do. So yeah, that's how things are rolling and stuff. Um, I'm not going to go to bed yet. I'm going to watch some videos on YouTube while I'm waiting for my washing. And then I'm going to go pick up my washing, come back, get it dried, and then go to sleep. Because I went to, f went to bed at four last night as I was trying to figure out this algorithm. I'm getting, I'm getting, in, I'm in that phase now where if I think of an algorithm, I'm in, I'm a programming and I'm just, right, I'm like walking around and I just go, oh, shin, run off and then just start programming it. Um, but now I'm not really in that mood. I'm like, I like flick. I can't, it's hard to force yourself into that mood because it needs inspiration. That's what I like about programming. It's incredible. I'm enjoying it massively. It's just really, really freaking hard. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to catch you later. Now, I'm not going to catch you later because I'm going to talk to you in a minute. Yo, folks. I'm off to bed. Catch you later.